Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our weekly market forecast and analysis. Um, it's been a really great um, ending of the week last week and we had some really interesting trades. And yeah, now this week we're going to quite focus on what's going to happen next. And we are going to be pretty much only technicals. We haven't tried to digest much of fundamentals lately uh, just because, you know, we're trying to... Uh, simplify things uh, for a lot of uh, traders who are don't really get um, the actual point of uh, fundamentals now for the technical part um, this trade I'm um, sorry um, the DXY has been doing extremely well and just as I said before um, last week I had a bit of bearish to neutral bias I said build a bit of negativity on the dollar and that kind of proved me wrong um, and that's why I say it a bit of um, neutral because of this you know I s the price reached around that area and I kind of thought that it's high time for the price to probably um, break through or the high also to go further high and because of this um, retest around here I kind of thought like the price would keep on grinding them all the way down but fortunately enough the dollar has proven us wrong and the dollar keeps on appreciating now having said that we're going to have we're going to have a bullish bias this coming week and we're going to try to look for new selling opportunities on every kind of currency that is um oppositely paired to the dollar now the first trade will be euro jpy and i'd like to sell this um trade around that area of 121.49 all the way down to 117.678 now why because we're looking for a risk reward ratio of 3.04 and the target value will be 305 pips second trade will be the euro usd and the euro usd is quite interesting i've just broken through the um support trend line um i want to see the price coming back here and retest around that area and from there i'll look for further sell off for the euro usd another three is nzd usd and i would love to short nzd usd um now based on this setup i want to see nzd coming back up here that pullback and retest all the way down um to the further price of 0 0.62644 Another trade is Aussie dollar USD and I want to short Aussie dollar USD. I said this before, this area is a very interesting area. You could clearly see on this short like sell, 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 sell. Now these kind of setups I really look for um, when every time I trade I want to see um, I want to see a trend. I want to see some really strong resistance areas where I pretty much look for that short and this is one of them and I am shorting right now Aussie dollar USD and I'm still holding for a very long time. Hopefully, we see the price coming all the way down here to 0 0.66958. Moving on on USDJPY, um, for USDJPY, you can see the USDJPY has been grinding up slowly and slowly. Last week, we said we're looking for buy opportunity, but in the bottleneck situation where I kind of feel like the price will come around that area and lose its team. And for that reason, you could see um, in a very sharp sell-off. And this area looks quite interesting for me. Um, either see any much um, a bit of breakthrough or uh, a resistance holding that price, not to keep on pushing anyway farther than that. Um, so otherwise, that's my take for the. Um, oops, I think I took something else that's not supposed to be taken. Ay yeah yeah. Anyway guys, that's it for the USD JPY. Next will be USD ZAR. Now let's use the ZAR. Um, since last week, I predicted the price to come back here, be here, be of a retest here. This is the area I'm looking for a sell for USD ZAR. Now remember, we're a bit bullish on the dollar, so uh, we hold this trade just in case anything changes on the dollar, and this will be a good. So that'll be a great, great trade to short uh, in the coming week. Moving on WTI, WTI had a really great run and I keep keep on telling you guys because of the trade talks simply oil is going to you know the value of oil is going to keep on going higher and higher so I suspect the price to keep on going all the way to 60 to 60.769 I want to see the price back here 
um, in case you didn't enter that trade early enough um, see that pullback and that's a good area to buy and follow the trend all the way up next trade is UK oil UK oil has almost the same behavior to the US oil so pretty much from the from the table sorry from the chart here you can simply mimic that on on UK oil wait for that pullback retest and just try to buy all the way up Usually Takish Lira, um, we want to see a sell around this area all the way down. SS pure technicals guys, this has nothing to do with the fundamentals. With the technicals adjustment, I think the price will come back here and trying to sell all the way down. Next trade is Euro Aussie dollar. Um, the Euro Aussie dollar is actually triggered already. You can see one, two, three, four. This is a fifth kissing area. We want to see the price coming up here all the way to 1.65990 all right guys last but not least is usd mexican peso and this is also an interesting trade because as i said earlier i want to see somewhere with a lot of kissing points i don't see a trend line i don't see um you know that kind of structure and patterns forming in a trade and this is one of them usd mexican peso it goes hand in hand with the um the bullishness bias on the um, on the dollar, so I suspect the price to come all the way up here. Um, but buying it here it can be quite risky, so you want to wait for the price to break through this trend line here, and you could try to grab the opportunity around that area of that breakout and draw it all the way up. So, ladies and gentlemen, today was such a short um, market analysis and forecast. Uh, that's because you just try to offset the bill fundamentals a lot of people don't really understand the fundamentals part of trading and i hope this technical analysis will be good for you and you're gonna enjoy it enjoy it, enjoy it and please guys subscribe to our channel and follow us on all our social media platform and don't forget to comment and ask us any questions and thank you so much guys peace